Hello everyone, Nebecca here. Welcome to this next episode of Let's Play Judgment. So, in the last episode, um, we found out a little more information about the masked man who we can now call Jester from his band of thieves that uh, their boss, Crow, <laughs> tried to uh, whack us. But guess what? That didn't work out too well, did it? Mm -mm. So now we're going to go back to our agency. Where is our agency? It is over here. Yes. Oh, why did I go this way? I, I don't know. Cause why not, right? It's okay. What? Still don't know what that sound means. <gasps> it's a kitty! Oh, is it one of those that um, Neko Mia is looking for? <gasps> yeah! Yes! Oh! Smile, little baby! Ay, yes! Ay, he's a cutie! Smile! Hey, look at us, look at us again! Ay, what a cutie! Yes! <laughs> okay, did I take the picture? <laughs> ah, yes, I did. He's a little cutie. Yes, he is. Am I supposed to, like, send it to, uh... What's this face? I don't know. Oh, gosh. There's filters, of course. How do I end? It won't let me go back. Did I not take the picture? I must have not taken it right. There? Better? Oh, okay. Hello? I think mine was better. Was better. I think I found your calico. I just sent you a text. Yep, that's the one! You've done very well, Yagami-san. I'm so glad he's safe. Oh, you had me, he, you had me so worried. Oh, that's good. <laughs> See, I told you he'd be just fine. But there are two more that haven't been found. Huh? What? There's more? Yes. I'd like for you to find the tabby next. I often see him in Little Asia. He always ends up in some high, hard-to-reach spot. So he's a climber, huh? Alright, I'll see if I can find him. Oh. Okay. Well, might as well continue. At least we have a, a good, solid clue. Little Asia, Little Asia. <gasps> there it is. Yay! Hopefully we can finally finish the side quest. I've kept him hanging forever. Cause I just had no idea where the where the cat was. Thank God I went the wrong way. Out of the way. Go away. Oh no, we have to go through there. Oh, we can't just climb. Gosh darn it. Ow! Ow! Ryan Acosta, help me! Come on. Your turn. Come on, you. Get up. Ooh, is that money for me? Yes! Perfect. Yes. Well done. Ooh. Oh, some goodies. Oh. <gasps> oh. Did I hear a cat just now? He really is way up there. Maybe it's the tabby Nekomiya san was talking about. Can't see much from down here, but I bet the drone can. Oh. Ah! There he is! Oh, he's a good baby. Yes! Take a picture. Was that good or not? Maybe you gotta get closer. That's gotta be the one. I'm sure Nekomiya san would appreciate a picture. 
Hello? Nekomiya-san, I sent you a text. Is that the right one? Phew! What a relief! Yes, that's him, alright. Fantastic work! Yay! We're so close, one more! Okay, looks like there's only one more to go. Anyway, our last little runaway critter is a black cat. Apparently he lives on Pink Street and is quite fond of the ladies. That's really the only hint I have for you. Sorry if that seems rather vague. No problem. I got this under control. He's a real cutie. In fact, he's practically the talk of the town. I hope he's doing okay. So he likes women, huh? Guess I'll have to find this cat the hard way. Hmm. Ooh, what is this little area? Oh, you can smoke. You know, I, I haven't played this. I don't know how to play. I guess I could try just once. You down for shogi? I've only seen shogi in um, the anime Hunter x Hunter. I've never played myself. In shogi, players alternate moving their pieces and aim to win by taking out their opponent's king. Pieces movements differ from you. Know, of course, it's like chess. The first three rows on the opponent's side of the board is considered the promotion zone. Once certain pieces reach that zone, they will be promoted. How each piece can be moved and how promotions affect it will be explained subsequently. Oopsies. Oh my goodness gracious. I think I'll just learn on my own. <laughs> and then I'll play well whenever I learn on video. I don't want to bore you guys trying to figure out the game. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Pink Street, he said. Oh, well, we are on Pink Street. So I guess we'll just go down Pink Street. I'm sure we'll see him. Because of the little arrow. Don't know what loving ladies means. Maybe DVD. Like if I could read any of this. I guess instead of trying to find s signs, I should just be looking for the cat. Pink Street, Pink Street. Ooh, gotta get the goodie. Ooh, I heard the thing. Maybe that means we're near it. I hope. Oh, hey! <gasps> That's it, isn't it? Of course, he's talking to a lady. Ah, there's a black cat over there. Maybe it's the one Nekomiya san was talking about? I don't. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, are you his owner? No, that's just a stray, but I do know the guy who takes care of him. Oh, really? He sure is a cute little fella. I was actually thinking of bringing him home with me. Oh, please do. <sighs> but if someone's looking for him, then I suppose I should leave him be. No, take him. Hold that thought for a moment. Let me contact him and see if we can work something out. Yagami-san, were you able to find him? I think you should come and see for yourself. Huh? Is something going on? Ah, now I get it. She wants to raise him as her own. <laughs> Got it. If that's the case, then please don't let me stop you. I'm just glad this little guy found himself a good home. You sure you're gonna be okay with that, Nekomiya-san? You won't be able to blog about him anymore. It's true that I'll miss him, but if someone's willing to welcome him into their family, then I'm sure he'll live a better life. Please, take good care of him. Wow, you really do have a soft spot for animals, Nekomiya-san. Especially the ones that can't fend for themselves. Mm-hmm. All those pampered pants at the pet shop? I leave them for the other guys. After all, I'm a street cat man. I don't... Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to run a blog called Nekomiya's Newsletter, would you? Huh? If you know about my blog, then does that mean you're one of my subscribers? Uh-huh, I knew it! So it is you. And yes, I've been subscribed to you for a long time now. <laughs> you could even say I'm one of your biggest fans. <laughs> really? Wow, I'm flabbergasted. You're the first person I met who actually reads my stuff. <laughs> Now that I see you in person, you kind of remind me of a cat yourself. 
I'm into that sort of thing. Eh? Oh, well, I guess that's awesome. So would you um like to grab some tea with me? It doesn't have to be now, but I've always wanted to talk cats with the incredible Nekomiya-san. Eh? Th that would be great. It's a date then. Yagami-san, I owe you one. I mean, look at me. I'm gonna go have some tea with a girl who reads my blog. Here's a little treat before I go. I did have you running all over the place, so... Oh, that's wonderful. Is she still gonna take the cat? Don't go chasing her away, Nekomiya-san. Because this kin's yours to keep. <laughs> Level up! They better have taken the kitty. Yay! Good. Oh, that was wonderful. Reminds me, let me get some points here. Who is it? Who is it? Is it Alice? Is it time to finish the 10 points with you, Alice? I think it's time to finish them. Let's do... Sure, sure, sure. Finally! Whoa, 500 SP, that's awesome. That's better than the than the disc. <laughs> than the album. Alright, we're making so many friends. Ooh, what's that? Find the lost pet. Oh, we have to do that. Oh, yes, it's one of the side cases. Right. Ooh, and another new friend. There's so many new friends now. I actually want to see this new friend. Okay, let's go, yeah? Excuse me. Pardon. Yeah, I'm so glad we helped Nekomiya, man. I love cats so much. No, leave me be. Okay, let's see who this new possible friend is. So in here somewhere, yes? Upstairs? Or downstairs? No, I don't know. In here? No? Hmm. Guess into the elevator we go. To the first floor. I hate this building. It always confuses the heck out of me. See? We were just freaking here. I guess to the roof. Maybe it's one of the thieves, huh? Nope. I have no clue who this new friend is then. Hmm. Let's go upstairs here. Further up? Nope. Oh man, I don't know. I hate this building so much, it always confuses me. It has to be somewhere on the first floor then. Sir. Okay. Croissant. No, no, let's get something 
bigger. No. So, oh, no, no. How about this? No, 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 no. This? This? No. Chocolate cake it is. No, yes! Mm. Back to it. Yume. Then finally. Pardon me, sir. But can I get a minute of your time? Hmm? What can I do for you? Well, my name is Mami Sakuma, and I've been working here for a while now. Ooh. Basically, I'm looking for customer feedback. Would you mind describing how that tasted just now? Sure. I tend not to hold back, though. That's fine. I've been training to make each pastry exactly like the owner does, so I need all the constructive criticism I can get. Wow, sounds like you're working hard. Hi. I try. But it's all a part of following my dream, so I don't mind. Because one day I'll be the best patissier in town. It's nice to be passionate about your job, isn't it? Of course, so would you mind sharing your thoughts? On the road to perfecting confections, every comment counts. Yep. Sure thing. Great, thank you so much. Now, can I ask what you thought of that cake? Hmm. Yeah, so I thought the chocolate cake was a little too sweet. Oh, oh okay. I say that because most of your menu is sweet stuff. Some people might want to order something more on the bitter side. That makes sense. We do have a lot of different people coming through here after all. Yeah. And besides, wouldn't a bitter cake pair better with one of your beverages? At least I think so. <laughs> wow, that was actually pretty insightful, thank you. <laughs> well, it's just my personal opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. Oh, not at all. You always give me really valuable feedback, so I hope you'll come back more often. Definitely. After all, this place takes the cake. Ha! <laughs> you think so? Well, I'd hate to see you desert us, so please come back again soon. <laughs> Sakuma-san really seems to value my input. Makes me want to talk cakes with her more often. Aha! Aha! Can I do it again right now? Where is she? See? what? Where is it? How does it disappear? I don't understand. I mean, it shows she. Oh, it's oh my god. Let's see if it works if I do it again. Oh, I can't. Okay. Couldn't even if I wanted to. Okay. I don't think we have any. Oh, Nekomiya san! He's a good friend to show Madoka chan. Yagami san. No. Yes, I found hmm. someone worthy. What? Not Nekomiya san? Boo. Uh, oh, okay. Fine. Okay, let's go to my agency, yes. Which is right here? No, right here, yes. <sighs> okay. Ah, let me be. Let me be, let me be, let me be. They're probably not gonna quit by the time I get here, right? Unless I can go and hurry. Yay! <laughs> yeah, buddy. That'll do it. I am home. What was I supposed to do again? I don't know. Is it just sleep? I guess. Oh, any side cases? Ooh, we got another two. <gasps> what the hell? <gasps> I didn't mean to do it right now. Great. Thanks for coming out today, Yosuke-san. 
You've got a new job for me, right? <laughs> you don't have to be so formal with me, Yagami-san. I'm younger than you anyway. Yeah? You got it. So tell me about this new pervert. He's one of the Twisted Trio. This one's name is Ass Ketchum. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so... A ass Ketchum. Ass Ketchum. Oh my god. Huh? Pikachu. Ass Ketchum. Really? <laughs> the Twisted Grover. Oh my god. If only it were a laughing matter. This guy has ass on the mind, and he'll grow whatever he can grab. I guess he knows what he's about. And Tsukino-san was one of his victims? Yeah. Yes. It was in broad daylight just the other day. And you're sure it's the twisted trio again? What gave him away? Mm. It's what he said when I turned around in horror. What got it? Catch it all. Oh, that supple ass of yours would be perfect in a long distance race, baby. What? Ass Catchem's column card is apparently telling his victims what sport they should play based on their butts. What? <laughs> this is the most weirdest dude I've ever heard of. That's disturbing. <laughs> Did he say anything else? Yeah. He told me I should cut my hair to lower my wind resistance. He really knows his sports, huh? The good news is that you saw his face this time. Can you describe him? Well, he had dark rimmed glasses and weird stubble patches around his mouth. Oh, and his head was shaved clean. I've run into him twice at this point, so I have a pretty clear picture of the guy. Huh? Really? Twice? <sighs> yep. Tsukino has the worst luck with perverts, apparently. And the cops have this description, right? Haven't they locked this guy down yet? I'm afraid not. Ask catch him is fast. Really fast. Apparently he's a former track star himself, so he can outrun just about any pursuer. That certainly makes this complicated. Hmm. But if he's groped her twice, it couldn't just be a coincidence. Yes, but you got the first guy, right? And now my sweet innocent sister's honor is at stake. He's the first guy to... Yusuke. Hey, is that really relevant? Can we count on you again, Yagami-san? Sure, but my fee isn't exactly student-friendly. You managed it once, but... <laughs> it's okay. I've been putting in some OT lately. So, what's the plan to catch this guy this time? Well, once again, it's probably best to catch the guy in the act. I can't exactly use Tsukino as bait, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Put the wig on poor Yosuke. <laughs> hmm. If only we had someone who could pretend to be your sister. Hmm, why are you looking at me like that, Yagami-san? The two of them are twins. You know, you have an uncanny resemblance to your sister, right, Yosuke? Well, yeah. We're twins and all. In that case, how would you feel about posing as Tsukino? It could be the perfect beat. Eh? What? Pretend to be her? No way, man. He'd figure it out right away. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> I think we stand a pretty good chance. Shotta. Don't you agree with him? No, no, and no! Hmm. Well, that's a shame. I think that was probably our best bet at catching him. Fine then. Yagami-san. If Yosuke's too chicken to do it, I will. Huh? Huh? But... <sighs> it's our best shot, right? Yes, but... Are you certain you'd want to put yourself at risk? I can do it. After all, you and Yosuke would be there to protect me, right? Just take him down before he gets his gross hands on me, okay? I'm on it. Alright. If you're sure, I think we have a plan. Yeah! Don't worry, Sukino. Ass catch him is grass and we're the lawnmower. <laughs> I 
can't say I'm not worried about the risk here, but it's our best shot. Oh gosh. I didn't even accept the quest. I just thought we were going to put it in our list. Great. How's it looking, Yagami-san? Any sketchy perverts catch your eye? Well, you. <laughs> no, nothing yet. But don't let your guard down all the same. Right, so we wait. Uh -huh. Okay, find ass, catch him. Dark rim glasses, thick stubble, shaven head. Okay, we might have to do a little zooming in. <gasps> oh, I hear a kitty. Oh, I hear a kitty. Gosh darn kitty. Where are you? Where are you, little baby? Oh, we can walk? Oh, no, we can't walk. Okay. <gasps> there you are. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so... Looking for ass, catch him. Don't see a ball, dude. Or rim glasses. Hmm. Um. I'm not finding anybody. I don't even see anyone with a shaved head. What the? That's your scare. Um, where else can we look? Hmm. Don't see anyone. I'm really surprised we can't move. What the? Hmm, that guy. He matches the description. Hmm? He's not... Oh, I thought I was looking for like a super shade, no hair on top. And who dresses like that? I'm getting nothing but bad vibes here. I better get in touch with Yosuke. Who is he like staring at Yosuke? Oh, maybe they switched after all. Goodness. Hello, Yagami-san? Did you find the perv? Yosuke, look out! Behind you! Huh? Ew, that's just creepy as hell! <gasps> Ew! <laughs> huh? <laughs> you cut your hair short, just like I told you! Excellent, excellent! So it is, Sukino. Wait, I'm not. Mm, what's this? You've been toning up your ass, haven't you? <laughs> oh gosh, it is Yosuke. Are you working your glutes? Oh god. Help me, Yagami-san. Not even Ask Ketchum can tell those two apart. Hmm. Ready! Oh, chase! Set! Go! Hey, get the hell back here! Oh, let's do this. I've gotten pretty good at these, so we're good. Come on. Gotta catch ass, catch him. Wait a sec. Come on. Oh, he is fast though, I'll give him that. Oopsies, really? Come on, come on, come on. Let's 
go, let's go. Oh, that was the wrong one. Come on, come on. I'm not going anywhere, my man. Oh, wrong one. Ha! <laughs> yes! Let's fight. Or not. Fast. Ooh. Ooh. Nobody's ever caught up to me before. Just who are you? The detective was gonna bring you in. Your ass catch him, right? D detective? Does that mean you're the one who took down the first of the trio? Professor Panty or whatever? Panty Professor? It hardly matters. You're coming with me downtown. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't make it a, any assumptions about bringing me down as easy as him. Oh gosh, here we go. He was nothing. A nobody. He should have thanked his lucky stars. We even let him in the Twisted Trio. The same guy who used a remote-controlled drone to steal panties off balconies was nothing? Never mind him. Right now my blood's really pumping after grabbing that cute girl's ass on a nice chunk. My whole body feels rock hard. Please tell him that he grabbed a man ass. Please. Oh gosh. I guess he took off the shirt too. For no wind resistance. Great. But does that mean you had to strip? Now you'll feel the power that's inside us. Catch him. Yeah. That sounded gross. Let's do this then, big boy. Get my toy, jerk. I'm going down. <laughs> Don't get cocky now. You haven't seen anything yet. Oh, God. Are you kidding? What the? When I get my hands on a hot girl's ass, nothing can stop me. <laughs> Tell him it was a man ass. He'll lose the chakra. Yeah, about that. Did you know the ass you grabbed back there actually belonged to that girl's twin brother? Wh what? That means I got hard off a guy. <laughs> Better learn to like it. The only ass you'll catch in the slammer will be muscular and manly. M man butts! <laughs> and then the shot to his ass. No! No! Hey, stop struggling! Please! No! Man butts do nothing for me! Oh. That'll change, sir. When that's all that's left, that'll, that'll change you. So, as Catchem's been brought to justice, I'd say this case is firmly in the rear view. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. You're incredible, Yagami-san. Not even the police could rub him in. I'd save your thanks for your brother. Oh, I'd save your thanks for your brother, Sukino. You did great, Yagami-san. No, really, you're the real hero, Yagami-san. <laughs> nah, work just goes in strange directions sometimes. I... I've been groped. You got what you deserve, I'd say. Ugh. <laughs> Here's your payment, Yagami-san. Oh, thanks. Well, goodbye. Uh. 
There's only one left of the Twisted Trio. I hope Tsukino is free of them, though. No way she draws the ire of the next one, right? I bet you she will. I bet he'll leave the last of the trio will do it on purpose to get to Yagami. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, this is a good place to stop this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, comment below your thoughts, share the video, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes into the series. Until the next one, you take a lot of care. Jenny!